this question was asked in gate 2020 and it's an mcq type so here they have given each set of n process execute the following codes using two semaphores so they have given semaphore a and semaphore b initialized to 1 and 0 respectively assume that count is a shared variable initialized to 0 there is a count and it is a shared variable initialized to 0 and not used in code section p so in this code section count is not used okay fine so what does this code achieve let's see the options now it ensures that no process executes code section q before every process has finished code section p let's check it so they have given n process right let's say processes as p1 p2 p3 so on up till pn the semaphore's value of a is 1 and semaphore value of b is 0 so all process can execute right let's check whether if any one of the process can execute code section q before all the process executes the code section p okay let's assume process p1 executes this then weight of a it becomes zero then count value right count value is initialized to zero so it becomes one if count equal to equal to n no right count is not equal to n so this statement will not get executed then signal of a so a becomes one weight of b so it gets blocked here p1 gets blocked here because b is zero right weight of b b becomes minus one okay similarly again if process i can preempt it here now process p2 again executes now a value is one right i can execute this weight of a again zero then count can become two okay then if count equal to ql no right then i can again signal a then again it gets blocked here p2 also will get blocked here then again this procedure continues p3 p4 p5 up till p n minus 1 processes right all this will get blocked in weight of b right so till n minus 1 process the b value is 0 only if it is a it is a binary semaphore b value is 0 only it is not 1 yet so when it executes n process so after the process p n executes the code section p again weight will become weight of a will become 0 count on that time will become n right so if count equal to equal to n signal of b then only b can become 1 then all the processes can execute this line right one by one so all the n minus one process will be blocked here all the n minus one process will be blocked here when the nth process executes this line the count value will become n my then i can up the signal then one of the process among the n minus one process can execute this then again signal b then enter into the code section of q so it ensures that no process executes code section q before every process has finished code section p so this is the right option right so every process must have executed code section p then only count becomes n then only i can signal the value b to 1 from 0 then one by one i can take the process and give it into the code section q okay so option a is right so it is an mcq let's see option b option c and option d also so here it ensures that at most two processes are in the code section q at any time okay let's so we have seen right n minus one process will be blocked here then nth process signals here okay so nth process signal it up then here one of the process can proceed here and can go into the critical section or the code section here then i can preempt the process since now this process signal b right again b will become one so one more process i can take it from here right one more process can take it from here weight of b again i can signal it up 
then I can give it into the code section. So two process can go into the code section. Let's see. Now the third process can go into the code section. So here again, the third process, yes, it can also go inside, right? The same procedure it follows. So here first initially is B, right? B is zero. Then A is one. All the N minus one processes have B as zero. Then the nth process makes the B as one. Then again, weight of B, right? Since N minus one process are blocked here, I can take any one. Let's say I take the process P2. Okay. Then I execute weight of B. Okay. Then it again signals B and P2 can enter inside. Let's take another process now P4. Let's assume process P4. Okay. Since B is one, it can make weight of B as zero and proceed it again. Signal of B makes it one and can enter inside the code section Q P4, right? Again, one more process. Let's say I'll take P7 now. Okay. So P7 is another process which makes B as zero, then signal it up again to one and can enter inside code section Q. So it says that it ensures utmost two. Now see here, I have given three process. You can give all the end process in the code section Q also. So this is not the right option. So let's see the next option. It ensures that all process execute code section P mutually exclusive. No, right? So let's say this is the critical section. All the process can enter inside the critical section, all the end process, if it wants to right? because there is no condition to stop it, to enter into the critical section. So there is no chance for mutual exclusion. So mutual exclusion is not guaranteed in the code section P. So this is also not the right option. Let's move on to the option D. It ensures that at most N minus one processes are in code section P at any time. No. In code section P, all the N processes can be there. Why only N minus one process? All the N processes can be inside the code section P. Right? So option D. So what's stopping it for the N process to be inside the code section P? So no one is stopping it, right? So option D is also not the right option. So option A is only the right option. Fine. This question was asked in gate 2019 and it's an MCQ type. So consider the following snapshots of a system running N concurrent process as process high so first I'll do this first. There is N processes in my system. Okay. This question was asked in gate 2019 and it's an MCQ type question. Consider the following snapshots of a system running N concurrent process, process I holding XI instance of resources R. So I is from ranging from one to N. Assume that all instances of R are currently in use. Further, for all I, process I can place a request for at most Y additional instance of resources. Whereas it holds XI instance it already has. Of the N processes, there are exactly two processes P and Q such that YP is equal to YQ is equal to zero. Which of the following conditions guarantee that no other process apart from P and Q can complete its execution? Fine. So they have given N processes, right? Let's name it process P1, process P2, process P3, so on. And there is let's say process PP because they are given right process. Then PI is here. Let's assume PQ is here. Let's assume then there are N processes fine. And they are holding each of the process is holding X1 resource. This one is holding X2 resource of R. So this one is holding X3 resources of R. 
this one is holding xp resources this one is holding xi resources this one is holding xq resources this one is holding xn resources right and then they request for y1 resource y2 resource y3 resource they request for y p resource they request for y i resource this one request for y q resource this one request for y n resource right and then they have given y p and y q are zero so this one and this one is zero so they are not requesting any new resources so process p and process q are not requesting any resources and what they are asking which one of the following guarantees no other process apart from p and q complete execution right so after process p p and p q complete its execution they release resources right so they release the resource xp plus xq it holds so this is the now available resource after pp and pq completes its execution so this available resource must be less than the minimum of the resources it requires right then only other process cannot execute its execution so xp plus xq resources is the available resource this resource must be less than must be strictly less than not also equal to it must be strictly less than the minimum of all the y so minimum of all the y k resources let's say such that k should range between 1 and n yes and k should not be equal to k is not equal to p and k is not is equal to q why k and k is not equal to p and k is not equal to q because p and q are already completed right they have completed since it doesn't require any new resources so it's already completed so k cannot be p and q okay but it has it has already acquired some resources right p p and p q that is x p and x q resources correspondingly so it has released these resources now this resource is available resources now if y1 resource is greater than this resource that is xp plus xq then it cannot acquire the resource right it has to wait similarly y2 is greater than xp so these are the individual requests of the process so these individual requests of the process must be greater than that is let's say y1 is the minimum request okay let's say y1 is lesser than yi whereas i is ranging from 2 to n let's say this condition this is the minimum request among all the other requests y1 is the minimum request okay so if xp plus xq is less than y1 so y1 cannot execute if y1 cannot execute all the other remaining process cannot execute right because it reads it needs more resources to execute the least resource itself is not executing how more resource will of the process will get executed so it all waits right so there will be no execution of the other process so when so let's see which of the option matches this so option a matches right this so let's see option b what they have given as option b so it is not maximum should not be less than maximum it should be minimum only so if it is greater than this one greater than minimum at least one of the process will get executed right if it is let's say y1 so this xp plus xq is greater than this minimum y1 then y1 will get executed right but they are saying no other process except p and q should get executed so this is also not the right option then minimum of xp plus xq why they are asked so here also minimum of xp plus xq so this is this doesn't make any sense right so option c and option d doesn't make any sense so either option a or option b but it should be less than minimum not less than maximum so option a is the right answer